playoff spot in the AFC with a thorough win on on SNF on Sunday night football, beat Jags 23 to 7. Jags were really out of their element yesterday. I do not like the body language on that team. I think that Trevor Lawrence is way more hurt than they're putting on. I think he's just being a tough guy right now. And Lamar Jackson just pretty much showed us why he's worth every penny for the Ravens. See, the you got to understand, guys are going to fit on teams. And that's exactly what has happened with, um, with, brother uh lamar jackson uh he has just found the correct fit i don't think he would be this successful with any other team in the nfl but the ravens because the ravens are already a run first mentality team and then they're also a team that really is really tough on the defensive end and lamar jackson has proven that he can be a game changer and a game manager when you can do both that's absolutely exceptional, and I think that he that alone really does make Lamar Jackson, if we're going to just give the quarterback the MVP award, that makes him the MVP, in my opinion. It doesn't matter what you are stat-wise. It's what you are leader-wise, because without Lamar, this team won't be able to function the right way, but if you were to have my man Sam Darnold start for the 49ers, I don't think they miss a beat. Because y'all can say what you want about Sam Darnold, but look at the two toxic situations Sam Darnold was a part of. Carolina, you had a coach that got fired midseason. Um, same thing happened in New York. You had a coach that got fired midseason, and you weren't the issue. It was because the, the both franchises were absolutely a toxic situation where they weren't really allowing their players to be great. And that's where it comes at. But this right here, with their situation, they have a decent backup quarterback that can keep them going. But Lamar really does bring the wins to the table. And he does give them their best chance to win the Super Bowl when he is starting and when he is healthy. Then you have Isaiah Likely. You know, he's replacing a big-time tight end, um, uh, all-pro tight end. But I think he's the better player. This has became a, a very good element for Lamar moving forward to actually move this offense accordingly. Yes, they lost Keaton Smith last night to a knee injury. He's been very, very key to what this team has done all season long. But at the end of the day, it's next man up. And the Ravens have been a next man up team for the last six years. You know what I mean? Last decade, to be exact. You know, and they, they've they never relied on, you know, a calling people stars that's the whole thing they think everybody on the ravens thinks they're a star but i think at the end of the day the ravens set themselves apart on both sides of the ball and they have a strong chance to actually win the afc and win the super bowl this year because they have the mvp of the league if you're going to say a quarterback's the mvp and then they also have the defensive mvp in the league too i know nobody wants to mention him that much and he's not a pass rusher like miles garrett and tj watt and khalil mack but this guy really does bring every element that you truly need for a team to be successful. And that's Kyle Hamilton, straight up. Y'all need to go check number 14's highlights. I told y'all when I interviewed him during draft week, and I told him himself that you could be the best safety of all time if you do this thing right. And he's playing, the, he's playing that role to a T. You know what I mean? It's early, but right now, Kyle Hamilton has every look of being – an all-time great. And I think that he's the X factor and really what's going on here in Baltimore. Last night, they they was just dominant. You know what I mean? They took advantage of a Jags team that's truly hurt. And you know what? Their quarterback is just not moving correctly. That's all it is. And you're putting a lot of pressure on your playmakers right now. So I don't know what the Jaguars are going to do. Hopefully they can go ahead and sew up the AFC South, and then they can go ahead and take a little bit of a break. But right now, things aren't looking too good for the Jaguars, who were one of the bigger favorites to win their division this year as well, too. So there it is. There it is. There it is. So with that, we're going to go ahead and take our first uh, break. And when I get back, we are going to jump into the NBA. So you guys stay tuned. This is the Premier Sports Betting Show. The Primetime Angles with the one and only Pop DiBiase, the Primetime Capper, and I'll be right